Hello, welcome to another FSD beta video. Today we're on 10.4. Today is just our first impressions. We're gonna go on a little test loop. We have an individual right here in front of us. Let's see what happens. It's kind of going to the left a little bit for him. Now it's coming to a complete stop here in the middle of this cul-de-sac and pursuing. It went really wide. Yeah. But there was no one around. But yeah, again, these are just our first impressions. We're just here to figure out how well this new software handles. Up here, we're about to turn left onto a road where on the right, it's pretty easy to see. But on the left, we have a bit of a hedge that makes it kind of hard for us to see traffic coming from our left to our right. So it should be pretty interesting to have what's should be interesting to see what happens here. Now turn left onto Snell Avenue. Coming to a hard rake right there when that car was turning. Yeah, I think it got worried the car might swing into our path or something. Possibly. So yeah, again, I cannot see on our left. There's too many bushes. Lots of vehicles on our right though. Still can't see my left. But the right is clear. Now I can see my left. And it is clear. Whoa, it's oh, hesitating. No. <laughs> All right. Stop coming up pretty quick behind us. And For, wow, it hit the. It accelerated quickly. Oh, and that's that's the V. Yeah, it. obvious. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's weird. As soon as it got us in the lane, it kept us at 10 miles an hour and just kind of kept slowing down. A bit odd, but no harm, no foul. Did you hit the accelerator? Though? No. Um, struggled a little bit on the right hand turn again. Like it was like, oh, I know I can make this right, but as soon as it enters, it seems to get a little confused. It's wobbling yeah, the wheel a it's lot. Yeah, it's like there's two different kind of algorithms it's trying to follow as it's going straight, and then as it initiates the turn, it, it recalculates a little bit. I'm going to change my autopilot to assertive from average and see if that changes anything. I forgot how slow the speed limit was. <laughs> yeah, right? Now turn right onto Avenue. All right, on assertive, it handled that much more smooth. That was a very smooth turn. So I'm gonna turn FSD beta on while this car is doing this. And yeah, I just wanted to go forward. That was weird. That was funny. Oh, FSD beta is on. It's still trying to calculate our route. So it is just driving until it finds a route. And there we go. So it found a route. Now turn left onto Arabian Street. Oh, a little, went a little wide to the right before I made the left hand turn. I kind of mm -hmm. like that. Now turn left onto Clydesdale Avenue. Clydesdale. I could use some beer right now. Yeah. Oh, I'm driving now. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was 15, my driving instructor and told me not to swing wide on turns like that. Yeah. Probably do, still do it anyways. But. And is that what, this, what you're saying the car is doing now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna increase the speed to 30 through here. Oh, wow. Okay, I was gonna say it wasn't gonna let me increase, but eventually it did. Got an unprotected left. Cross traffic doesn't stop. I cannot see from our left. I still cannot see. Still a cannot big see. big bush. Can't see anything. Now I can see. And there we go. So noticing on assertive, it is, you know, it, it's very close to just uh, wherever that medium setting is. Mm-hmm. Now turn right onto Drive. Oh, that was weird. Made a noise and then put the blinker on for a second. It wanted to go down that street, but it only decided to do that when we were right next to it. Yeah. Interesting. I'll have to rewatch the footage. If you're um, watching this on YouTube, feel free to comment if you saw anything abnormal on the screen there that we didn't notice in real time. Mm -hmm. My R light has turned green and it goes. Oh, yeah, it's getting a little jerky there again. But I made a turn. Yeah, 10.4 first impression so far as I'm noticing on the turns the wheel is a lot more jerky than it has been in all the recent iterations. Yeah, recently on most of the tens it's been pretty smooth, pretty good. Like that turn it did smooth, but yeah, not all of them. It's hit or miss. It's about 50% that it um that it's not so smooth. Let's uh, run another route. Now turn left onto Avenue. 
All right, we've reached the destination. I'm gonna see how well this car makes an unprotected left while we're able to actually see from both the left and the right. There are cars coming from our left and it's creeping forward. Okay, it finally stopped. Oh, it went <laughs> backwards a little bit. Did you feel that? It kind yeah. of rolled backwards a couple inches. The vehicle coming from our right, it's creeping forward. We're now in the middle of the intersection. Oh God, let's see what happens here. Oh no. oh no, we just stopped in front of a car. I'm just gonna have to do that. Yeah, if you, I don't know if the camera's cut up, but you see that white car that just. That was coming way too quick at us. That was not comfortable. He even slowed at least half the speed limit. Yeah, he slowed a lot for us. And he was kind enough not to honk. Very kind. Um, I mean, the, if that was a human driver, he would have obviously just gone into the suicide lane. But the Tesla looked like it was trying to just, you know, omit the entire suicide lane and just go for both lanes and. Yeah, I'll have to rewatch this and see if it detected the suicide lane because it didn't want to use it at all. 500 feet, turn left that, was, drive. that was probably one of the most frightening situations I've had, but I mean, we were fully in control. All the vehicles around us were going the speed limit, so. I took over only at the last moment I possibly was in a safe position to do so. Just to see how long it would take the computer to recorrect, you know? Mm -hmm. So now we have the right away, and then there we go. Okay. That guy waved at us. Obviously, the car didn't see us wave, but because everyone stopped, no I assume it decided to go. To it's creeping forward for visibility. I have a car behind me, so I'm gonna have to hit the accelerator. And the car goes once I hit the accelerator. In 500 feet, turn right onto Mescalero. Yeah, free bar tap, and it works. Oh, a kegerator? It's, it's, yeah, it's a free, yeah, a free kegerator. Let's go buy one. You want it? It's free. Let's go grab it. <laughs> okay, sure. We can throw it in the back. Yard. All right, so right here on the right, we have a bunch of vehicles that are doing a bunch of waste collection. And I purposely brought us down here to see how, the, how it handles. Well, it came to a sudden stop in that turn. Like we're seeing on the right-hand turns, it's getting a little jerky. Mm -hmm. In 500 feet, turn wow, right there's a lot of these bins here. Drive. Yeah, they're doing some type of waste collection here. Each one's labeled for a different thing. This one's labeled for metal. The other one's labeled for mattresses. The blinker is on. Interesting. I know we do turn right up here, but the blinker came on quite early. Now turn right onto Tuscarora Drive. It's probably trying to follow laws. Seems like about 100 Yeah, 50 feet. feet, 100 feet, yeah. It's clear from our left. It's obvious we can go. Okay, now the car's coming to a stop because it sees this Mercedes. And it continues again. This update seems more hesitant around other traffic, especially Much more when hesitant. turning. I mean, 10.3.1 was almost perfect, except for when we were in the cities and saw railroad tracks and things mm -hmm. like that. They were really onto something with 10.3.1. 10.4, I don't know, you know, sometimes you take two steps forward, take one step back. It seems like it has a lot of improvements in other aspects, but the right hand turns is my first uh, mm -hmm. impression. And right here, it's cutting very far left. I mean, if there was another vehicle coming. Yeah, I think for a self-driving car, that's just not an appropriate line to take. Not to mention the navigation, we have it set to that road back over there, and it put us in the dead center of this, of this other road. Well, thank you so much for watching our FSD 10.4 video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to like and subscribe, because liking the video is how we trick the algorithm into showing it to more people, you know, and we really like more people to be able to see this experience. Um, feel free to support us on Patreon as well, link in the description, and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much, and have a good rest of your week. Goodbye.